Freddie Burns, Bath born and bred. And away goes Burns, Freddie Burns uncontested, while cruising under the post. Two picks back his ears and goes beautifully. Oh my goodness. I used to come down here and play Sunday mornings and then my mum would take us straight from here to Larko Athletic to play play football in the afternoons. So uh, I used to play up front for them with, with uh, ankle high boots on, which was very interesting. You know, things down here started getting a bit more serious and um, yeah, I just decided that rugby was, was the way forward for me. And I was about five years old, so I just started with the under sevens. I uh, did two years in the under sevens and I'm one of four boys. We all played. Yeah, just the family connection got me got me involved, and yeah, it was a, I was down here for ten years, so it was a, a great time in my life. I was fortunate enough down here to, to captain the team um, throughout most of my, my mini and, and sort of youth days, so yeah, it was a, a great place to be, and I think that's why I was a ten because I could talk a lot. I came in when you were about fourteen, I think. I coached down here for nine years, and I was yeah. And then Mike Avery was the forwards coach. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So got to come down and do some backs and defence coaching. I just uh, couldn't believe the quality of the team. Yeah, they had a good team. You know, some of the memories I had down here are some of my favourite memories in, in rugby. Yeah, 100%. I've had a few now. It's just nice to be back as well, playing for Bath and yeah, you know, sort of representing yeah the hometown and everything. Guys like yourself. Obviously, when I was playing for Gloucester and Leicester, it was great as well. But it's just nice now to kind of go full circle. Uh, we had some some good memories. That day on the wreck was was quality, wasn't it? The Somerset final. The match gone. played in wet, windy conditions. They even started well. Russell Honeybird notched a couple of try, which was converted by Freddie Burns on the touchline. That was quickly followed by an unconverted second score from Joe McDonald, who evaded several defenders on his way over. They even led 12 near, near at half time. I had such a good time down here. You know, you play at the, the, the mini festivals, you know, whether that was home or away. You know, one of the parents I remember used to always bring a, used to always bring a, a, a big tent and he'd set that up on the side of the pitch, and that'd be our little sort of changing room and, and, and hub for the for the day and yeah it's just it's just a great time just to play with no no fear, play with maximum enjoyment, don't worry about making mistakes, you know, try things, just experiment, enjoy it. Don't get too bogged down with, with the ins and outs of everything, just come down with your mates and have a laugh. Burns enjoying playing on the front foot. Look at this, look at this again one man it, it's the to Burns a little chip over the top and gathers it himself Freddie Burns, take a bow. I've been fortunate enough to have, to have many highlights in my career. I think for me the one that sticks out by my England debut was um, playing alongside my little brother uh, for Gloucester. You know, only a few years before we were down here playing for Avon to be two brothers to come from a, a place like Avon and, and to play down here to make it to a, a premiership pitch and play side by side was, was a pretty proud moment. I set my stall out early when I was a youngster when I was down here at five that I wanted to play for my country and to, to say I've done that is, um, is a huge honour and yeah, it's a very, very proud moment. I grew up dreaming of playing for Bath. I obviously went to, to, for opportunity and, and to, to broaden myself as a player and you know, I had successful times at both, at both Gloucester and Leicester but and when you when you play for Bath, when it's something that you grew up dreaming of, to, to pull that shirt on and run out of the wreck is is, is a huge honour. So, you know, and to represent guys like this and to have that sort of home feel is is something that I'll always cherish and, and be proud of. You know, it all starts at, at places like this. You know, people, volunteers that come down and coach, that you know, the parents that, that give up time to coach the, the minis on a on a Sunday morning in the wind and the rain. It, it, you know, it's everything really. And without Avon, without that initial step in my rugby career I'd be nowhere. Sounds a bit cliche but the dream kind of started down here so to go from Hicksfield to, to Twickenham is, uh, is a huge honour.